Hello my loves, welcome back to another vlog. She is on a roll and honestly I am just loving vlogging again. I'm so glad I'm back in a good routine with it. Today is Tuesday, I'm going to go get my nails done this afternoon so I thought I would start the vlog here but we've had a really nice productive morning. Me and Chris got out, went to the gym. We're in a new routine at like a new gym. Well, it's a gym he's been going to for a while but I've recently joined and I'm loving it so far. So we're up early this morning even though it was the most miserable morning. I'm not complaining about the weather, I quite like when the rain's like battering down but I prefer it when I'm like cozy in the house not when I have to go out to the gym but anyways we made it and it was a good little session and then came home got lots of work done I've been filming all morning Chris's mum's popped in for lunch and a coffee so I'm going to go down and do that and then I'm heading out to get my nails done I think I have an idea of what I want to get but you'll have to stay tuned and yeah follow along the vlog to see what I get done with my nails and what we get up to this week Good morning my loves, she's got the crazy pin curls in again and as you can see they're already falling out everywhere. We're giving this another go because after I edited back my other video and actually seen this hair, I decided I did quite like it and also I had my hair straight yesterday so my hair doesn't have like any kinks, I think that might be the key to, let, like, to this look being a bit nicer um, because I do kind of have naturally wavy hair if i've let my hair dry naturally right in at the back there's always like wavy bits and it just doesn't really look that great so like i said i had straightened my hair yesterday so i'm hoping that today this will just give a nice kind of flick to the end but it'll be nice and kind of like sleek looking still and as i've just said that i'm now noticing kinks that i think have been caused by the clips there's another kink right she's not mastered this Oh my goodness, is that, this is actually worse I think than the last time I've done it. So it's a couple days later, oh my goodness, like this is chaos this morning, look this has poked me in the eye. Um, a couple days later, um, I obviously started this vlog on Tuesday, we're now on Friday. Um, oh my goodness, look at the bloody kinks in this, this is not, this is actually a tutorial on actually like don't do this to your hair. Shake it out and see if that'll help. Get the trusty dry shampoo again. I actually need to get more dry shampoo. Where'd I go through so much of it? Does that look a bit better? I feel like it might actually. I'm currently giving myself the absolute ick with that matte lip. But I didn't want to put my gloss on until I'd taken my hair out there because nothing makes me cringe more than my hair sticking to lip gloss, which to be honest, happens all the bloody time. That's just the Refi Clear Gloss. I mean, it doesn't look clear because obviously I put it on over the top of all of my different lip combinations. And yeah, it ends up the colours of all my lip combos. But to be honest, it's quite a good thing because it means it's like the exact colour that I like to wear. So yeah, Refi Lip Gloss. I do now also have some of her like tinted lip glosses and they're lovely as well. Like the consistency is just so nice. Um, so if you're looking for a new lip gloss, I recommend. So that's me now all ready for a busy Friday. I'm literally just about to pop into the other room and film a little outfit video for you guys. I'm really trying to do as many YouTube videos as possible at the moment. And I have been able to consistently upload once a week for the past, I think like four weeks now. So we've managed to get that nailed down. I'm now going to try and up it to like two uploads every week. I basically just want to start sharing outfits that I wear. Pieces that I already have in my wardrobe. You're not really having to go out and buy loads of different bits because I feel like this time of year can be quite overwhelming with like fashion and trends. I feel like there's loads of things that come out, loads of different styles. You don't know if you're going to suit them but sometimes we hop on the trends anyway and then you end up spending a lot of money on things that you maybe are not going to really get a lot of wear out of. That's how I feel anyway and I'm sure there's probably other people that feel the same. So I think 
thought I would kind of start more of a series where I will obviously be showing you some new bits I get here and there but it's going to be a lot of outfits that use a lot of the same pieces so that we all actually have more of a capsule wardrobe. I have been so good since I moved house. I feel like because I like my wardrobe to be nice and organised and I like to wear the clothes that I have. I don't want clutter, so I don't overbuy. I have quite a few pairs of jeans that are like my absolute go-tos and then like jackets and things and things that can be mixed and match. But yeah, I'm gonna basically be doing a lot of like different outfits using pieces that are already in my capsule wardrobe. Um, and like I said, maybe there'll be a few like trending pieces in there or like new pair of trainers, that kind of thing, but nothing crazy. I'm also a mid-size gal. I'm a size 12, sometimes a size 14 on the bottom. I'm only 5'3 on a good day, so I thought it would be good to kind of just share how I dress um, in case anybody else is like out there as a similar size to me and they're looking for some inspo because I know as well going with like trends and stuff it can be quite hard to like do, like to follow trends because sometimes they don't actually suit your body shape or maybe you don't feel confident in them I know I find that all of the time so yeah that is kind of going to be the new style of videos that are also coming on the channel and um, let me know if you like that idea I'm going to stop babbling on here just now go and film my video and then I will speak to you guys once I'm all ready to head out for the day I'm going to take some content and some of the outfits that I've been putting together this has been really good for me as well to be honest because sometimes I can just be bad for like thrown on a sweatshirt and leggings, a pair of trainers and out the door and although I do love that kind of like comfy cool girl look sometimes you just don't feel as put together I really want to just try and put together and wear some nicer outfits so me doing this like every couple of weeks is going to actually help me wear all the outfits I have in my wardrobe so like I said I'm going to go out and get some content in those outfits as well um, and then get a nice little coffee with my mum to say thanks to her for coming and helping me get my work done so I'll take these along for the day and then we're going to spend a cosy weekend together again which I'm excited about. I'm just loving the cosy vibes at the weekend and it truly now is feeling like autumn which I absolutely love. That is me finally off out. Whoa. Like I was saying that is me now off out. That took me a little bit longer than I was hoping. Honestly I feel like I am up much earlier than I ever used to be and I'm like so much more organised than I ever used to be and thank god because time just runs out. I don't know where the time goes sometimes but yeah I'm now heading to pick up my lovely mum and we're going to go. I've got three outfits in the back that I want to get some content of and then we're going to go and get a nice little coffee and then I'm back to do some kind of admin emails, editing, just some like little tasks that need to be completed before the weekend and then I'm going to freshen the house up, just give it like a quick freshen up before I go and pick up Chris and then we're actually going to go to the gym tonight which is a new one we've never actually done this before so yeah maybe this will be a new like a new routine for us but the reason I'm quickly talking to you even though I'm in a rush was because I realized that I didn't actually show you my nails after my appointment the other day and I'm so pleased with them so here you go a little close-up of my nails I'm not even sure if you can see but basically I went for a kind of like nude tip a nice kind of beige nude tip and then we put um, a nice kind of chrome finish over the top. I feel like the chrome is just like a nice little change if you like neutral nails but you kind of feel like you're being a bit boring. Chrome is like still neutral but yeah you're still like a clean girl aesthetic which is what I always go for. Okay I'm definitely going to stop babbling now and get going. We went and had a little coffee and we've just popped up to the retail park to treat ourselves to some cleaning products. If you don't have this, you need to buy it. I was also getting Chester a present because it's his birthday on Sunday. He'll be coming to his little potty with us. And then I got some of the flora, influenced by Gemma Louise Miles. She uses this in her sink and says it makes the whole house smell lovely. She also used it on her... Um, what do you call it? Cupboard doors. So I'm going to try that. I'm giving you a little haul while my mum looks for the bit she needs. How cute are they? Is that a bigger size than that one? I spotted these. I'm always looking for little containers to put in my little kind of like Weetabix protein yogurt cheesecake breakfast thing in. These are only a pound as well. You can make your little overnight oats in them. I've never seen them in here before. Also love these. If I didn't already have all my spice jars I would definitely pick up them. If you like to take your coffee out of the house then you need these how cute would that be on the way to work full of christmas cheer that is me from the 31st of october <laughs> i really wish that i was like the one that hosts christmas because best believe i would go full tacky christmas probably and you'd be getting your gravy out of one of these how cute 
it's five pounds. Sitting on Christmas Eve with all your nibbles in Santa's belly. <laughs> I'm on a mug ban. I told you guys that I've already bought a mug and I won't be buying any more. Let's see if I stick to it. These are cute if the handle was more of the other shape. You know, I don't really like this handle. I probably would have bought that. I also really love this one, but I got one similar last year and the handle's nicer on it. So yeah, if you're not a handle snob with it, when it comes to coffee mugs, you might like this one. I do love Christmas, but anyone that actually puts some kind of seat cover on their toilet seat, that's just, that's just you just don't do that. that how disgusting would that be? I don't trust that all the that. yeah all the men in the family would not pee all over that. Picking these up to match the tags that I got. I absolutely love this Christmas bag. They've got all the ones for your wine and your beverages. CNM really is where it's at for all of your Christmas wrapping. Wooden tree garland. Linda and I have both spotted this at the same time. Something like that would be nice, stranger. Garland on the stairs. Mm -hmm. That is nice, but is it too early? You're going to say it's never too early. It's never too early, do you know what everyone goes? B&M has understood the assignment when it comes to Scandi Christmas decorations. They've got these little pom-poms. I've actually got these decorations. I got them the first year that we moved in and they light up, so they add a nice kind of bright touch to your tree. This is super cute, but I really do not need any more like Christmas signs. I had a lot last year. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. How cute is that? If you followed me last year, you'll know I actually managed to get myself a really nice snow globe, so I will not be purchasing, but if you don't have one, five pounds. And look how chic that is. I'll just give it a little shake for you. See it in action. Oh, that's lovely. My mum and I loved these last time we were in. The only thing is, I don't really like personalised things, so if I was putting these up, I would be turning them round so that you didn't see the initial on them. Same with the Santa sack, I would prefer if it wasn't initialed. We're now in the range and you can see it's full blown Christmas behind me. So I'm going to take you along so you can see what's in the range. This has just become a full on Christmas vlog and I'm not even going to apologise for it because we are just loving the whole Christmas vibes today. How cute would this be sitting in your kitchen? It is £10 but it's basically a set of three mugs that you stack. Gorge, absolutely obsessed. My mum loves this one. I've nice just told her she doesn't need any more Christmas mugs. I know you would have lots of coffee and hot chocolate in that, wouldn't you? Sure. More so probably lots of cream in your hot chocolate. I really like this one. I think I'm going to get it. Look at that one. Say, oh, look. That's really cute. It's a nice big handle, though. It does have a nice big handle. Look at this one. It's a little plate that says, the best part of Christmas is giving. Aww. I shall have no owner for its journey never ends. It travels in a circle of family and friends. Oh, you obviously take it with you at Christmas time and give it to other people. It's really nice. I spy my favourite person, the Grinch. I used to have this light in my bedroom when I was younger and I've just said that to my mum and she like loves the fact that I remember that. Officially in the best aisle. All of these little things just scream Christmas to me, like this is what Christmas is. My mum and dad have one of these but I don't think, I think it's up in the loft still. It's Christmas! This is like put me in the best mood. I've been in such a bad mood all week. And this is just making me so happy. It's so Although I always have neutral decorations, I feel like I do miss tinsel. Tinsel is Christmas. If you're looking for any garlands, the range is where it's at. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> That's so nice. All of my neutral gals will be running to the range for these. And also they're only £3.99. I have some of these, but they're actually, the ones I have are bigger than these ones. Might have to add them in this year. I think so. Wow. And they are, how much are they? One fifty nine. Okay, absolutely love this. This is definitely my vibe. It also lights up. Little float Christmas trees, again they light up. I have these, I got these the first year that we moved into our house. Love these little ceramic houses, these also light up. Home is our favourite place to be at Christmas. Really like these baubles, it's a pack of four. They are more expensive but they light up as well. Love this sign. You sold me seven pounds. Oh, it's like a doorstop instead of heavy. Oh, that's so cute. That's lovely, look. How nice is that? That's only two forty nine. Would you put that on like on your tree or would you wrap it in amongst like a garland or like on your TV unit or your fireplace. I've already got this. I got this the first year that we moved in and I didn't have like a coffee station at that point. So this is going to go on the shelves. I'm really excited to do my full coffee station this year and this will be on the shelf. That's a lovely little advent calendar. If you've been following me for a year, you'll know the saga of me getting a brand new advent calendar last year. So 
I won't be purchasing one this year. These are cute. Linda loves these ones. We're back to looking at Halloween bits. That's quite nice. If you wanted to put tea lights in it and set out. That's me now back in from the shops. Who did I think I was with my camera and vlogging and being um, in the range? But I hope you enjoyed those little clips. I feel like I gave you a full tour of the Christmas section in the range. I have to say, if you're needing a little bit of a pick me up or you're not in the best of mood or whatever, just get yourself down to the local range because honestly, that was like the serotonin boost that I was needing to end this week because. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a bit of a week this week. I'm not even going to drone on here and be negative. But yeah, that little range trip was very much needed and it's made me a lot cheerier than what I was um, earlier on in the week. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed having a look at all the Christmas stuff with me. I mean, I feel like in my vlogs I've been saying that, you know, I'm not going to be talking about Christmas. It's only September, but the shops are bringing out the Christmas stuff. I feel like it's all around and it really is my favourite time of year. I mean, me and my mum were just saying there that like it won't be that long until I'm putting my Christmas tree up because I put my tree up up the second last week in November so it's really not that long until we're in October and then October will probably fly by and then it'll be November and then it'll be Christmas tree time. So keeping with the Christmas theme I thought I would show you what I picked up. Obviously I was showing you all of the bits in B&M as well and I got these ribbons for my Christmas wrapping. The closer you get to Christmas all this stuff is like not on the shelves anymore. So I picked this up. I think I've decided on my theme for my wrapping this year and yeah I'll share that near the time. But if it looks the way I'm thinking it'll look in my head. I think it'll be really nice and I think it'll look nice under the tree. So obviously it's a kind of like black cream and gold theme. You'll be able to tell that from the ribbon. I did also point these out when I was in store and I ended up coming away with two of them. These are just little wooden tree garlands and basically the idea for these is to go on the staircase. So I do have a garland for my staircase and basically the first year that we moved in I didn't actually get to put it up because the painters were coming to paint the banister black and then by the time we'd moved in, got the banister painted black, it felt a bit pointless to literally put my garland up for what was only going to be not even a week. So last year was the first that I actually did put the garland up and I absolutely loved it. But what I like to do with all my Christmas decorations is kind of like put things out and see like what we're needing. And last year the hallway garland I feel like was a little bit plain and like could have been doing with a little something something. And that little something something this year is hopefully going to be these. So you're glad to know these are just going to be going into the spare room and tucked away until it's that time of year where we bring out all the Christmas decoration. It's my favourite pup's first birthday on Sunday and we're having a little party to celebrate him. I'm honestly so excited. So obviously I had to get him a little present. Yeah, I mean Chester does like ruin every toy that you give him. So I've got this one because it does feel like, I mean you might actually be able to get the arms and everything off. It's got lots of little squeaks. <laughs> So I feel like he'll love this. I'm excited to give him this on Sunday. I think I did actually show you the other bits that I got when I was in the store, like in my basket. I obviously got those little ghost marshmallows. They were only a pair. They had loads of different treats for Halloween. So like if you've got kids or whatever, um, or you're doing any like trick or treating, there was like loads and loads of different bits. They had like brains and like eyeballs and all that kind of funny stuff. But I just picked up little ghost marshmallows because we'll probably be having some cozy movie nights on the lead up to Halloween. So I had a bloody lovely Friday. It's now just coming up to half past three. Three. I am going to go take my makeup off, put on some comfies, whizz around the house, just give it a quick kind of tidy and clean. I'm not even putting pressure on myself to do a full deep clean because to be honest it doesn't need it. And then I need to go and pick Chris up from the train station and I'm going to bring his gym clothes with me in the car and we're probably just going to go straight up to the gym. It is a really nice night though. Well it was as I was driving home and I was thinking maybe we could have just went out a walk instead of going to the gym but now I'm looking at the sky and it's looking a bit grey so we'll probably just go to the gym. I think I'm just going to run on the treadmill. Um, because I've got a class book tomorrow morning so yeah I might well I might run on the treadmill or I might actually join Chris and get him to like do some like army exercises or something with me or maybe even just like where the weight section is I'll see how busy the gym is I still definitely even though I'm like 28 I still definitely have gym anxiety so yeah we'll wait and see what we end up doing and then we'll come home get dinner get cozy on the couch and that'll be it for our Friday night Good morning my loves. I have had the loveliest little Saturday morning and I'm just now all showered and getting ready to go out and I basically just thought before I do my makeup or as I'm doing my makeup I would just quickly show you this product that I'm putting on. I spoke about this on my TikTok recently 
I don't think I've shown this on. No, I, do you know, I actually started to film me putting this on two vlogs ago and basically my camera cut out so I wasn't able to talk to you guys about it then. But basically this is a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Dupe. I've tried all of the Charlotte Tilbury like dupes you can get. I've used, I've tried every one apart from the e.l.f. one. Um, so I've tried, do you know what, I'll just show you them all. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyewear Shade 3. Then we have this one from Technic. This one's really good as well. And then this one from Collection. This one was probably my favourite until this one entered the chat. Now this is from Aldi. It's the cheapest like flawless filter dupe I've found. And honestly, I have not stopped wearing it since I got it. I think this is £4.99. And just like look at it on the skin, it's definitely the closest to the Charlotte Tilbury itself. If anything, I would actually say I quite like this better. I wear this every time I'm wearing makeup. Sometimes I'll just put this on on its own with some brows and then head out the door. Um, I actually don't wear foundation anymore. I tend to just wear this and then like cream products on top. Just had to put you guys onto that. Get to your local Aldi. I say your local Aldi. I went to the one, I went to both of them in Hamilton actually and they didn't have them. But the one in Motherwell next to the big Asda, that's always really well stocked. So if you're kind of from over this way, go to Motherwell because that one's always got all of the beauty bits. The one thing I haven't actually been able to get is the Sol de... How do you even say that? This thing. Sol de Janeiro. These, Aldi obviously do dupes of these now and I've been on the hunt. I was actually, we popped into Aldi and Eastco Bride after the gym this morning to get some bits. For dinner tonight I'm making a carbonara. Um, so I needed to get like some parmesan because I didn't have any. Um, and I had a real rummage up and down the aisles to see if they had any of those spotty sprays but I haven't seen them so if anyone's seen them in any of their shops let me know because I will travel to get them. Okay I do now look like the tin man this needs to like settle down a bit and I need to add the rest of my products but I'll go I'll do the rest of my face and then you'll see the completed makeup look and then I'll probably show you my outfit before I head out the door as well. That's us all ready to head out. I didn't actually get a chance to show you my outfit because Chris was shouting on me as if I was late but then he was late. But this is what the flawless filter dupe looks like with my makeup on. To be honest, it's what I have on on my skin all the time. So if you've ever been wondering, that's what I'm wearing. Um, and yeah, now we're heading to go and see Chris's Nona, and then we're going to go walk in the park and get a coffee as well. <laughs> It's now quite a few hours later and I am making us a yummy carbonara for dinner. I just took an ocean for a carbonara and I'm actually quite good at making like a creamy pasta if I do say so myself. Not that it's like dead difficult to make um, but I've poured us some little glasses of red wine. We never actually drink in the house, like we don't really go out and drink often either, we both are quite like we prefer just like our diluting juice <laughs> but I thought it's Saturday night we're having like a little date night at home so yeah we're having some red wine and I'm making us carbonara and then we also got some apple crumble for dessert and we're going to watch well we've actually just finished we were obsessed with Yellowstone and um, if you've not watched Yellowstone or any of the, like, the Yellowstone like spin-offs you need to watch them they're so good so we watched the original Yellowstone at the start of the year became obsessed with it. Chris's dad actually said to watch 1923 which is kind of based around Yellowstone but it's set quite a few years before the one that we were watching so I wasn't sure if we were going to like it or not and there's only one season it's got eight episodes. We started watching it last weekend and I'm absolutely obsessed. We finished it last night and I'm absolutely gutted because it was just so so good so if you're looking for something to watch 1923 it's definitely a must but there's also another one that's like 18 something I'm sure so we're going to start watching that tonight again I think it's like one season um, so we're going to start watching that tonight enjoy your dinner and yeah that is kind of what we're up to so I'll show you snippets of me making the dinner I'm not going to give you like a recipe or anything like that because I'm definitely not a chef but I just thought I would check in we had a really nice day actually we went to see Chris's Nona she was in good spirit she was chatting away she was actually giving us a giggle we went to see her and then we went to Cothel I don't even know actually what that 
road is called, what Cawthel that is, it's a new Cawthel um, that's opened up, um, it wasn't long open so the interiors and everyone were lovely and we sat outside because it was quite sunny today, I had a coffee, then we actually went to Silverburn um, for a wee much around the shops, didn't buy anything, just had a little nosy of seeing some of the bits I was seeing in Tiki Max, some Christmas bits again and that's us now home so I'm going to make the dinner and just have a cosy little night in the house. It's just a really quick one. It is Sunday morning and well actually it's Sunday, it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. We are literally just about to head over to my brothers and Fiona's because it's Chester's first birthday today and we're having like a little thing for him. I know that probably sounds mental but like I mean I probably would have said before. No, to be fair, I've always been understanding of people like loving their pets, but I've never really been like a kind of dog person or anything like that until they got Chester. And honestly, he's just the best puppy ever. So we're having a little thing for him today in their house. Um, so we've got him some little gifts. I was just writing out a card for him. I know, I know it's a dog, but he deserves to feel super special. I mean, he feels special buddy every day because we all spoil him, but I went and got him just a couple of wee toys. So I got him this little cheeky monkey. I got him these ones, which are steak pie and gravy. And then I got him this Scooby-Doo meat stick thing. Which he just gets to chew. So I actually am annoyed because I don't have a bag to put it in. Um, all of my gift bags or like my gift stuff, like even my wrapping papers up the lot. But I'm sure you won't mind. I've just put in a lala bag. Um, and me and Chris are going to walk over. I think Fiona's like baked some little treats in the shape of like bones. But he's got a birthday cake. Um, and we're going to just go and have some nice sandwiches. And just spend a nice little afternoon with the family. And of course, Chester. <laughs> Sandwiches in there. Hello. Is it your birthday, Chester? Chester. Oh. Hey, Emma. Oh, I'm not going to go. I'm not Good morning loves, I'm having quite a Sunday, Monday today eh, because we obviously had Chester's little birthday party yesterday which by the way was honestly just such a lovely afternoon like Chester was so so excited like he's just the happiest little pup and he, he really truly understood that the full day was about him and he was loving all of his little presents he got and everyone that came to see him he was just absolutely loving it um, so yeah it was a lovely little afternoon and then when we got home it was kind of just time to like make dinner and chill um, don't get me wrong, I probably could have done some things at night, but I was just in the mood yesterday to relax. So it meant that I never got some cleaning done yesterday and organising that I wanted to do. And also we usually do our food shop on a Sunday. Um, or well, that's been the new routine as of late. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and do our weekly food shop just now. I'm also going to go and get myself a pumpkin spice latte or an autumn style drink from Starbucks because I haven't actually really tried any of their pumpkin spice I usually don't well I don't love pumpkin spice well I haven't loved pumpkin spice in the past but I feel like as you get older your taste buds change and a lot of things that I never used to like I now do like so I'm going to go bite the bullet and try an autumn drink of some sorts um, and then I'm going to go to the Aldi that's up in East Brides because it's got like the big retail part that's got the big B&M and a Tiki Max um, and also the Sainsbury's that's got those new I've seen them everywhere on TikTok there's like a new kind of candle as well so I'm going to go in and have a wee nosy I'll obviously take you with me um, and then we'll go do the food shop and when I come back I need to clean out the fridge put all the food shop away and then also just give the house a good clean. I was planning to totally switch over my wardrobe today, but I'm now going to maybe do that later in the week. This morning I've got up and I actually said good morning to you, but it's actually just gone 12. This morning I got all the work bits done that I needed to kind of tick off my list. Quite a lot of admin. I always feel like there's a lot of admin after the weekend. So I've done all of the bits that needed to get done. And then it means this afternoon I can go get the food shop and then do those little house bits that I was telling you about. for a pumpkin cream cold brew it does have this kind of like orangey foamy stuff in the top which I'm not entirely sure about but yeah here we go a little taste test I'll give it a little sugar so that we're kind of getting a full mix of everything I do have a straw as well but we'll give it a sip first and see how we go on I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that it kind of reminds me of a mulled wine at Christmas 
just spotted these in B&M. How gorgeous. They also have some ripped glassware. They're really pretty. I love these storage jars. How much are they? Let's see. Four pounds. I don't know I love a mug. I may or may not have jumped into Primark this morning to try and find some bits from the Rito Aura range and of course that means that I'm going to give you guys a little mini haul. Okay first up I got a new scarf because obviously we are in autumn now and I absolutely love accessorising outfits with a gorgeous scarf and this one is a really really nice material. It's dead dead chunky and I love the black stitching at the bottom. They do actually have a jumper that's kind of like similar to this and I couldn't find it in the shop so if anyone's seen it in any of their local shops let me know because I will be running out to buy it but I absolutely love this colour it's a really nice kind of like taupey oatmeal colour and like I said the main detail is obviously at the bottom I just love chucking on a big chunky scarf over a plain outfit it obviously keeps you nice and warm and makes you look nice and stylish too and this was only £12 Next up and also from the Rita Aura range I got this chunky knit jumper. I absolutely love the stripes on this. I don't actually have anything in my wardrobe that is like stripes so this is going to be a nice little change. I feel like this will be nice with those grey jeans that I've been wearing to death that are also from Primark or maybe just with like leather trousers and some chunky boots and this one was £18. A little bit more expensive for Primark but the grey jumper that I got a couple weeks ago I have not had off my back since I got it so I definitely will get wear out of all of these jumpers just zooming out so you can see it in all of its glory but I absolutely love this. I feel like Primark are really up in their game when it comes to their knitwear this year. Primark are really trying to be H&M right now and I'm not gonna lie they actually are nailing it. This is also from the Rita Aura range. It was £20 but I wish you could feel this material through the camera. It's super super soft and how gorgeous is that colour. Again would be really nice with leather trousers and some chunky boots or maybe even like a nice pair of denims and some Ugg boots. I feel like that would give that kind of Pinterest girl look which is what I'm I'm constantly trying to achieve this year and the last purchase that I finally managed to get my hands on and the start of the show as I do like to say is this gorgeous candle which is also absolutely massive I'm gonna put my hand next to it that's actually making my hand look big and the candle look small <laughs> that's quite weird but this candle is absolutely massive I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Jo Malone candles I think it's supposed to be a dupe for one of the Jo Malone townhouse candles I can't actually remember the exact name but I've seen them in store before and they are expensive I think they're like upwards of £100 so this one was only £11 and it's absolutely massive the candle dupes that I've had from Primark before I've absolutely loved they always smell lovely and they last me for ages they burn for so long so I'm so excited to have my hand on this one finally I've actually been looking for this for a couple of months now very excited to get this lit and have it for all of the cozy autumn nights ahead I forgot to pop in an outro for this vlog so I'm just jumping on to say thank you so much for watching as always and I cannot wait to see you and more cozy vlogs are coming really really soon